Hello, today's devotional can be found in Job chapter 10, verse 12. Thou hast granted me life in favor, and thy visitation hath, pres hath preserved my spirit. All right. So, when the fall of Adam and Eve happened, we became fully mortal with the loss of innocence, and we fell out of favor with God, and we couldn't connect with Him anymore. I mean, certain people saw God, but not everyone was able to connect with Him, and some fell away, and some became weary both in body and spirit. And some strive to keep in favor with God until attractive temptations came along and people gave in to those attractive temptations and hence they became lost to God. Even with repentance for their crimes were so severe that they were not comfortable in the presence of God in the end, but they would still be blessed with a place of eternal rest. Then the atonement came along, and the atonement granted us spiritual and eternal life, and we came back into favor with God because Christ paid the price for our souls, our sins, and our sorrows that we might be able to come back into favor with God and have life and live our lives as righteously as we possibly can. Because we are children of God and because of the atonement we can live up to that. And we can become as gods if we so choose. It will take a long time. But we can follow the commandments and make covenants and undergo ordinances to show our commitment to those covenants. And we can learn and grow and prosper. And the visitation of the Lord, the atonement, the visitation of Christ to this earth preserved our spirit that we wouldn't return to dust when we die, that we, our body would rest while our spirit moved on to learn wonderful things. And the two would again be reunited in time. And then when we would go to judgment and then have our eternal rest wherever we felt comfortable based on what we had done with the time we were given both in life and in death. The Lord's visitation granted us life, and the atonement granted us life. The atonement was the Lord's visitation, for he came to earth and grew and had a ministry and then saved the world. Our spirits were preserved from the darkness of ignorance and hell, and we were granted life, eternal and spiritual life that mortality would not be it for us, and we came back into favor with God because of the atonement, and through the atonement we can stay in favor with God, even through our imperfections. We can move beyond them and do so much better than our imperfections and our weaknesses. We can become strong because of the atonement if we so choose. The atonement has saved us all. Let's make the most of it. Satan and his followers will never benefit from the atonement for they never got a body and they never will. And they will try and stop us from utilizing it, that we can become better because he doesn't want, to be, want us to become better because he can never become better. But we have our free agency and we can choose to take the life and the favor that the atonement gives us and cherish the visitation of the Lord that our spirits were preserved, that we may live freely and be blessed in this life and the next. 
And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.